What is going on guys? My name is Officer O'Leary and welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator 2015. There's a really loud jet engine so I'm gonna move my mic real close like so. Hey, 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 hey. How's it going? Alright, let's get this bad boy going now. Not too fast though. Uh, yeah guys, we're using the jet train once again. I got a couple of comments. People were like, yeah, I want to see you drive that jet train again. So I'm like, all right, man, no problem. Here you go. We can't go too fast around here, though, because there's just a shit ton of track curving around itself and switches and other trains. Well, you know, a lot of shit that we don't want to run into. But yeah, hopefully my voice is coming through loud and clear because I said it on purpose so that the uh, voice, uh, what is it? The microphone would come up louder than the uh, the game sound, but it's fucking really loud in my uh, sound system in my room. I'm sure you guys could actually hear it through my microphone. I'm, I'm not 100% sure though, but our speed limit's up to 60, so let's accelerate! Man, this thing is a shit ton faster than the Excel Express. Honestly, like, this is faster than any train ever, period. Dunzo, no contest. And we're already going like 130, which is fucking crazy! <laughs> oh shit, sorry guys, just ate a uh, whole fucking, well not actually, I ate like a, a baby pie, personal pie, not the pizza place I go to, they call it a baby pie, oh we might derail here, I, uh, I'll slow it down, I didn't know this tunnel curved, I really, I had no idea this tunnel even curved, shit, oh yeah, if we put it into emergency, it sets our reverser back and then our throttle to 100%, so it's almost like you're putting on, uh, th uh, what's it called, like wind flaps on your airplane, this was an airplane. Slow it down, but uh, slow it down. But let you know, uh, whoa, holy shit. <laughs> Hello, I'm a little bit tired. Sorry, guys. I just worked all morning, literally. I was uh, delivering bread all day. I'm fucking tired. Yeah, I even forgot what I was just saying. So, blah. What's, oh, yeah. Let me get into the, oh, my Jesus. Let me know what you guys think about that new intro there, like the uh, whole what, what, what. I don't know. I was just thinking about that. I was like, hey, that might sound cool. Might not. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I'm always up for your input. Love it, love it, love it. And uh, for those of you Train Sim fans, hey. Yeah, I was actually, as soon as I launched Train Simulator, one of my friends on Steam was like, oh yeah, a new Train Simulator video. I was like, hell yeah, man. I thought that was pretty funny. Alright, I think we're in the Bronx now, or Yonkers. Somewhere up in New York. <laughs> I'm not even sure, I don't know. I'm not familiar with these easier parts. It's actually funny. I, I live around 50 miles from here in real life. Like, um, I live in New Jersey, so, you know, New York City is not very far at all from me. As a matter of fact, it's pretty close. I could see it. Uh, I was driving the other day up to my friend's house uh, about a half hour from here, and I could actually see New York from my, uh, friends's my, friends's, my friend's development, which is pretty fucking cool if you ask me. You could see the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. So, like, the tallest building on this side of the world is right there in New York, the Freedom Tower. You can see it from my friend's backyard. It's like, what? That's crazy. And sorry if you, my microphone's bouncing around a little bit. I have it really close to my face, so that way I don't mess up and uh, fucking not record my uh, mic audio, which happens a lot, by the way. Every time I record with my friend Joe, I always have problems syncing up my audio. Like, for some reason... I'll have uh, his audio volume a lot louder than mine, so if he's talking over me, you can't hear me at all. And it's crazy, like, I can't figure it out. And I know there's, like, a certain way to do things when you're recording YouTube videos with other people, like, with audio and such, but, you know, I'm just fucking so stupid, I don't even fucking know how to do that, so whatever, you know, well, it's all good in the hood. I mean, I'll figure it out one day, I'm sure. <clears throat> I don't even know where the fuck we are. We got a 60 mile an hour speed limit, but fuck that, because I don't see any trees ahead of us. I'm pretty sure this is just a pretty long straightaway, but then again, it looks like there might also be a curve coming up. It's really hard to tell when you're on a bridge like this. Let me zoom in all the way. Oh yeah, there's a curve coming up. Slow it down, buddy. Oh, 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 oh man, if we don't crash. Alright, what do you think the odds are we're going to make it around this curve? Oh wow, we slow down fast. Holy shit. I honestly wasn't expecting to slow down that fast. Like, what? Oh, my reverser. Holy shit. Almost forgot to put the reverser to 100. Blood derp, blood derp, blood derp. It's been a while since I've worked on a railroad in real life, so I don't really remember all of the controls. No, but I never actually got to drive the train when I was working at uh, at the railroad I worked at. And by the way, if you guys want to look up the railroad I used to work at, it's, it's called the Pine Creek Railroad, also known as the New Jersey Museum of Transportation. It's a, it's a little tourist railroad, uh, pretty close to where I live in New Jersey. I'm not going to give you, like, exact locations or anything, but it is pretty close to my house. 
Um, and yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It was like a it went around the park. It went around. I think it was a three quarter mile long loop, and it was a narrow gauge railroad. So if you guys don't know what narrow gauge is, the rails that we're traveling on right now are standard gauge. Uh, I think it's four foot six inches wide are the rails. And I worked on a railroad with narrow gauge, so the rails were only, I think, three feet and maybe a couple inches. I can't remember the exact measurements, but, yeah, we I worked on a uh, narrow gauge railroad back in the day, and it was a lot of fun, not going to lie. I had tons and tons of fun there. I, uh, I actually got hired as a summer job, or I actually got hired as a summer job. I got hired to work there as a summer job, and that was awesome. I worked there for, I think, three summers in a row, three or four summers in a row. Which is pretty crazy. Like, I mean, now that I think about it, you know, I had a pretty good run there. And I worked there all, I think in total, like six years or something like that. I started when I was 14. Because you can volunteer there also. Like, you don't have to work there. Like, get paid. So I was volunteering there for two years before I started getting paid. And that was crazy. And, you know, that was, that was cool. I don't know why I, I, always, I always say, oh, wow, that was crazy. But I don't, you know, I'm just so fucking stupid. Alright, let's speed it up, boys! Oh yeah, this is actually like the main place I wanted to make on this line. Like I wanted to, cr I didn't want to crash before I got to this bridge, because this is the Hell's Gate Bridge, and this bridge is sexy cool. It's really long. You guys can see the supports for this bridge like way off in the distance to the right up there. It's crazy. It's long as shit, and it was cool. I actually went over this bridge one time in real life. I was on the Excel Express. I was heading up to Boston to go see my aunt. And uh, <clears throat> me and my mom were riding in business class. We had like a whole table and shit. I was actually I was actually playing Train Simulator on the table in business class on my laptop when we were riding through here. It was crazy. Not this Train Simulator. I'm talking about the original Train Simulator. And it, I didn't have the New Haven route. I only had the Pennsylvania Railroad uh, historical route. I don't know if that's what it was called, but it was like a Pennsylvania Railroad route, and it literally had all of the Pennsylvania Railroad lines. It was the coolest mod ever. Like, I could not find a better mod than that, and I downloaded New Jersey Transit Consists, I downloaded all sorts of different locomotives, and uh, it was really actually pretty easy to mod that game in uh, Microsoft Train Simulator. It was pretty easy to mod, so I had a whole bunch of reskins. I had New Jersey Transit Comet things, and or Comet, what am I saying? Comet cars and cab cars and all that sorts of shit. GP40s, ALP46s, ALP44s, literally everything. And um, all of a sudden, uh, my laptop died on me, and I got my gaming computer, and tra Microsoft Train Simulator doesn't run on Windows 8 for some reason. I can't get it to work. I've tried so many times, and it just doesn't fucking work. And I even Googled it, and Microsoft doesn't even offer support on the game anymore because it's so old. That game came out in 2000... what is it? 2? 2002, I think, or 2003. One of those years. It's unbelievable, like, that game is that old, but they still don't offer support, and I'm fucking pissed, because I, I just want it to run on my computer, and specifically for the Pennsylvania Railroad lines, because that comes with the North Jersey Coast Line, which is the nearest commuter line to my house. So, I mean, I, I really, really wish that Microsoft would just come and fucking support that and make it so it works, especially considering it was made by Microsoft, and the operating system I'm running on is also made by Microsoft. Hello! Like, I'm running Windows 8.1, so obviously, you know, it's ma it's Microsoft. Why the fuck can't they fucking run their own game on my system? It does just doesn't make any, it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, guys, I'm, like, ranting on a little bit in this episode, but... Y'all know, y'all know. 70. I think we're in, like, Connecticut now, I think. You know, I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. I don't know where the border is between New York and Connecticut here. I really... Ooh, look at that! We got some SD40s! I think those are SD40s. Fuck me, if I remember. Oh, look at me. Why am I lagging when I look at them? Why do you make me lag? Look at this, ready? It lags when I look at them, but then I turn away. Well, 60 frames. What the fuck? I don't fucking even know. I don't care either, but it's all good in the head. It's all good in the head. But I've been drinking a lot of energy drinks, and it's really bad for me, and I probably should stop. It's actually pretty bad. Well, not, it's not horrible. Like, I used to drink a lot more energy drinks than I do now. Like, I used to go and drink, like, three energy drinks a day. I'd go out and grab, like, three monsters. Look at that cheeseburger billboard. That's cool. No, but I, I used to drink a lot <laughs> of energy drinks. And uh, now I'm down to, like, one to two a day, which isn't bad at all. You know, one or two energy drinks a day is not horrible. And, you know, I'm not using this jet train to its full potential. I know you guys probably just want to see me fucking crash it. And, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm going to crash it. Huh? 
I'm probably gonna download a whole bunch of new routes too, because they have a whole bunch of jet train routes that I can download and fucking play with it. It's pretty awesome. Oh, look at these signals. They're so close to the tracks. Oh my god, what is going on with the signals? Alright, let's honestly see how fast we can go without derailing here, because this looks like a pretty long straightaway. As far as the eye can see- Oh, no, 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 Slow it down, there's a curve coming up. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. This is bad. Like, could you imagine if this was a real-life train and there were cars behind it? I would literally fucking die in the back. Like, if I was in a commuter rail car, and this thing was, like, going fucking 75 miles an hour in, like, a second flat, it's like, what? I'd probably die. I think everyone would die. You need to have, like, fucking roller coaster restraints to ride this thing. Like, Jesus Christ. You want to ride this? All right. Here's an, uh, what is it? Here's a lap bar. Here's an over-the-shoulder restraint as well. And also, I have a seatbelt to buckle it all together. Fucking King Dika. Jesus Christ. I'm just kidding. King Dika doesn't have a lap bar. It's only over-the-head restraints. I'm fucking retarded. That's a seatbelt, though. Hello! I really want to ride King Dika, too. I'm, uh, I'm going back to Six Flags tomorrow after I'm done working and delivering bread in the morning. Definitely, definitely gonna go there, and hopefully I'll be able to record some more POV videos. Um, I'm so pissed off because I actually brought my POV glasses today with me to work. Because he told me that I was gonna be driving the truck and shit, and I was like, Oh, that's so cool, I'm gonna bring my glasses and record it. And then, fucking halfway through the day, I fucking lost my glasses somewhere in the truck. So I have no idea where they are. I looked for like ten minutes, couldn't find them. So I'm gonna go back and look again tomorrow when I'm working, and hopefully I'll be able to find them. But probably not. Not gonna lie, I don't know, I couldn't find them before, so what are the odds that I can find them now? It's not a big truck at all. At all. It's pretty small. I'm in love with the Goku. Man, I'm burping like a motherfucker. <clears throat> Speed limit 70 here, really? Because this track's curved pretty damn tight for 70. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's not horrible, I guess, but whatever. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. But yeah, anyway, so I was driving that truck earlier today, and I fucking almost, uh, what is it? I almost like blew the engine out. I was going like 65 on the highway, miles per hour by the way, not kilometers, in case you guys were uh, from another country. But yeah, so I was driving at like 65 miles an hour, and all of a sudden the fucking engine starts making this really loud noise. And it's a diesel engine, so I'm, you know, I w I'm not really surprised that it was making a loud noise. But at the same time, I was sort of scared that it was like breaking on me because I don't know what the fuck it sound. I don't know these sounds. I don't drive diesel trucks most most of the time. It's my first time driving this thing, so I was just like, "No, uh, I'm gonna break it. It's dead. Oh no, what do I do?" And then uh, he was just like, "Yeah, it, it always does that. Just just try to keep it around 65." Uh, I was like, "65? Really? That's not fast at all." And I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna gun it here and see what happens. <laughs> don't die. 150, 160, oh Jesus, these switches are the end of us, aren't, isn't it? It's over. Oh no, we have a, nope, yep, oh, how are we still on the rails? Oh shit, <laughs> okay, we're underwater now, that is literally the farthest I've ever gone. Okay, that, what? We broke the game, it, it took us back to the menus, <laughs> wow. That, my friends, is one spectacular crash. Okay, let's try it going the other way now on that line, because I haven't actually traveled on this line very much. Okay, we're going to go from New Haven towards New York, and uh, let's see what happens. It's going to be crazy. Welcome to New Haven. Oh, New Haven. This is the New Haven train. We're going to New York. New York Penn Station. I don't fucking know. I'm so bad at accents. Oh, my God. Let's go. The speed limit's 30. Fuck my life. All right. Well, we're already doing 30, so... <laughs> Might as well just stay here, right? <laughs> I don't like to go really fast until the track is straight, you know what I mean? Because it's obvious that we're going to crash if we hit a switch doing 200 miles an hour. And we're not even going to be able to get to 200 Oh, look at that. Some fucking, what is it? AEM7s. Hey, AEM7s, what's up? Why you got both your pantographs up? What's wrong with you? Seriously, why do they have both their pantographs up? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, whatever. Uh, go, keep going this way. We've got a switch. Do the right, switch it to the left. I don't know. I feel like we're going to hit another switch to the right. Yep. Yep. What I tell you? Oh, this is weird. I have my Xbox controller next to me, and I hooked it up originally to, like, try to use it, but I realized that it doesn't move the brakes very quick at all. See, look. Hold on. Let me let me show you guys. All right. We're going to go as fast as we can right now, and this is, this is using the Xbox controller. All right? I'm holding down the accelerate button. That's not fast at all. Look. If I... Well, actually, it does go the same speed as my, uh keyboard now that I look at it it's interesting let's see if this goes any faster okay this is using the controller on the brakes all right now I'm gonna use my keyboard it's the same what the fuck 
Alright, whatever. I'm using my controller. Fuck that shit. Oh, this horn is fucked. Screw you, you ugly horn. You're ugly. Okay. I wanna go. Got 70. Really? 70? I see a turn coming up. I don't feel like that's negotiable. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna slow down just a little bit here. Don't go shit. Wow, look at this scenery. Oh man, this looks like Connecticut if I ever seen it. Not. Seriously, I've seen Connecticut before. It looks nothing like this. There is way less grass, way more houses, way more people. <laughs> like, this is a ghost town compared to real life fucking Connecticut. If you guys have ever been to Connecticut, post in the comments because I ain't lying when I say this state is crowded. Oh my god, we're going so fast. Once this baby hits 188 miles an hour, we're going to see some real shit happen. I'm just kidding. It's supposed to be 88 miles an hour. Fuck you, Marty McFly. i never even seen that movie before. We're dead. Ah! Oh, God. Are we going to crash into anything? Over the road. Oh, shit. We just... No way. Did you guys see that shit? We launched over the fucking tractor over there. That's crazy. Okay. Quick drive. New York, New Haven. Let's see. Where do we want to go next? I'm afraid to go to Mariah's Pass because I already know what's going to happen here. Okay. We're going to go... Belton to I don't even know the, the locations here. It's funny because this this route is actually on the original Microsoft train simulator that I was talking about earlier and I used to play it all the time but I don't remember any of the fucking route names because I don't I haven't played it since like 2004 literally like ever since I started downloading mods for train simulator I literally never even went back to those original routes which is pretty sad because I like that Tokyo Hakone route a lot. I used to play that route probably the most. I used to get that fucking one. Tr oh, what was that train called? I can't even remember. It was like a. It was an. It was an MU. It was an electric MU, and it had a pantograph. I remember, and it looked really like high textured for the time. You know, even better than most of the other cabs. Like if you went into the SD40, I think it was. It was like a texture. It was like a picture of a cab, on the bottom, sort of like what we have here with this HUD, but it was literally like it was. It had like little pictures of the of the handles and shit and it was like a window it was literally the shittiest texture i've ever seen in train simulator and that was the sd40-2 i think it was one of those it was like no it was one of the diesel uh, freight locomotives it was like a bnsf i think i fucking forget it was so long ago god man bring it back memories <laughs> but it was crazy like they actually had the Excella express in the original Microsoft train simulator like doesn't that isn't that crazy guys like that train has made it all the way from the original train simulator to now it's still in train simulator to this day I think that's amazing and uh, also the AEM 7s I think were in the no actually I take that back they were not in the original train simulator we're gonna hit this curve going a little fast day eh? <laughs> wow look at these mountains they're fucking beautiful Look at that one patch of trees that loaded in up on that mountain early. How you doing up there, patch of trees? You loaded in a little early, didn't you? He's like, yeah, I loaded in super early. Oh my god, the train crashed already? No way. We were only going like 80. Really? This train's a pussy. I, yeah. All right, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this look at back into Train Simulator 2015 with the jet train, let me know in the comments if you want to see some more. Some more are the best type of Girl Scout cookies. That is for sure. But anyhow, so let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you want to see me do some other uh, trains or you want to see me do some more jet trains. I will keep doing them if you want. And yes, I will talk to you later. And a peace out. Have a nice day. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs>